So I said on game day morning last week that obviously Denver's winning a lot of games, but I think if they're going to make a run, they're going to have to be better in the past game. Now they're doing some good things and building around some things for Russell Wilson, but some other things that I need to see them do a little bit better. Uh, and, and what Russell's always been good at is the play action. Kind of play action, read down the field, pick a side. So right here, we've got what I call a shake route, kind of push inside and then break back to the corner. And then we've got a post here. We get quarters coverage, you obviously have a break bracket on the back side. So we're saying to ourselves, that's not really the play. We're hoping to hold this safety down and take a shot over the top at the post. It's exactly what Russell does. Nice little slide up in the pocket, get that ball out. Deep ball, something that Russell always throws well. Good ball right there. Oh, I just got to come up with that catch. That guy's been coming up with a lot of big catches for him, but couldn't pull that one down right there. So, getting back, all right? So, we just have... Uh, a play here going down the middle, really just a choice route right here. We get soft coverage on the outside, so it becomes a one-on-one -on -one with these two guys. And now the biggest thing with Russell is these are the kind of things that got to get better at. But you notice as he gets to the top of his drop, notice where his feet go right away. His feet go this way. They can become parallel to the line of scrimmage. Often when that happens, you're not ready to throw. You're not really looking to throw. You're kind of just looking to buy time and kind of panicking because your eyes are dropping. You're going to notice the little choice route right here. It's open for the first down. There it is, right in front of you, but wasn't really ready to throw, got a little impatient, feeling that pressure. And this has become a big part of, of what you see. It's kind of impatience in the pocket. And now Russell's not making mistakes, usually making positive plays with those, but it becomes check downs, it becomes runs, so here we go again with the play action. Okay, I like it, play action. We're gonna run corner route over here and then what I call an influence post on this side. So always when you come off of this play fake, did a video on this a couple weeks ago, one of the reasons why I wanted to put this on there, come off the play fake and you've got that influence, you look at the deep defender on the backside. So backside, obviously there's no defender other than the corner that's circled right here. So I'm gonna come off and look at him. As long as he stays down, so it's like he's in man-to-man -man coverage or he's staying down on these tight ends. This has to become our number one read right here and then back to the corner and there it is. There it's coming, pressure's coming in there, but if he's looking and ready, he's looking back here at the outside. If he's looking at this inside one, that ball can be laid out right in front of him. Big play opportunity right there. Now a nice job being able to avoid that and picking up a positive play there. But these are the kind of things we need to see happen faster, get out of our hands, the opportunities that are in front of us. If we're going to make a run to the playoffs and even past the playoffs, got to be able to make these plays. Good play call right here. So we've just got basically with the roll, we got a roll here. So we've got a corner backside. We've got that same influence coming. And then we've got a double move over here on the top. So if I get this particular coverage, so as we run it back, if I get this particular coverage, so I've got a safety back here to this side. So I'm not really thinking my tight end one-on-one -on -one back there, but I'm expecting him to hold that safety, okay? So expect him to hold the safety on the backside. So even if I want to come back, and this is a little harder because we're half rolling Russell here. So it's a lot to see if you've got a roll set and see it. So I'm expecting versus this coverage, because I've got quarters front side, what I really like is this double move. I'm expecting outside leverage with that corner. I like the double move. So I'm gonna come out on this half roll and I am going to look at this safety right here. If I can get this safety to hold inside with the influence, here's my throw one-on-one -on -one right here. So all of that happens, got it right there, okay? But you'll notice Russell and his eyes start back here. Okay, you start back there, you're going to be late to the double move. So everything comes off of what's the initial coverage. Okay, so, and again, let me just walk you through this. If 
this guy's down and they're playing a true cover two look. Okay, they're playing a true cover two look. Now, my eyes will start back here because I wanna make sure that this corner grabs that safety. Once he grabs the safety, now I'm gonna have a two on one off of this safety. So now it's backside safety. Oh, okay, got what I wanted. Now I'm looking to the front side safety to see if I get the influence first or come back to the double move. And the beautiful thing about the double move in that situation is I can be a little bit late on that because there's nobody else back except the front side safety. This case, we've got two guys back, so I get the front side safety to do what I want right there. Get him to turn and chase. Now this is the one that I wanna get right here. And we're just a tick late on the throw. Hangs up there a little bit and knocked away at the last second. Another missed opportunity right here for the Broncos. And again, not a terrible read. I like what Russell was thinking right there. Just a little bit late getting to it and all about where you start your eyes on the different coverages. Okay, so another play action. So you see that a lot of this, right? This is what they're doing. This is where Russell has been at his best this year is with the play action. We limit the number of options and him seeing the whole field and we're gonna run just double cross right here. So this is usually a play that we like against man coverage, but we're really gonna come back here and the goal is we're gonna come back and we're gonna read the safety that's in the middle of the field. So we come back, read the safety in the middle of the field. What's that safety do? Safety turns and chases this cross. Here's the other cross. Now, beautiful thing is we've got a flat down here, so we get a high low. If that defender falls back and covers the deep cross, we return to the shallow. But we're coming back and reading that free safety right there. And again, plenty of time right here for Russell, but he's bouncing and some, something that he's not seeing. Not seeing down the field. Man, there's the touchdown throw coming out off of this side and instead taking off and running. This has become a big part of it. It's like buying time, buying time, not really seeing it. Let me take off and run. Let me throw my check down. But there's some opportunities out in front of them that they're going to have to start making if they're going to make a push to the playoffs. Okay, so little things, little things. So we basically have a mirrored concept to both sides. We've got an out and a stick to both sides. What we really want to try to do is we want to go away from the roll. Okay, so if they roll the corner over here, that means that they've got a guy to take the out and a guy to take the stick. They got the rolled safety over the top. We really like to go to the off corner side because it gives us leverage here to the out first. And if this guy has to go screaming to cover that, he's got to move to cover it, we replace to the inside. Now, Russell does a great job here of realizing, oh, they're rolling the corner to that side, so I can't take the out. I've got to get to my stick. He gets to his stick really, really quickly. So if you go to a rolled corner side, it's exactly what you want to do. This is just, to me, more about teaching than it is anything. You can really pick a side. You like to go to the soft corner side first, easier throw to your number one on the outside, and then recover back to the inside. But with a rolled corner, that guy already in a position to take the out. We got to get to the stick quickly. Russell does that right here. Boom, back foot, balls out of his hands. This is what I want to see more in the drop back game is him seeing it, getting set, quick hitch, ball out of his hands. Okay, another two-man route, play action. Got the high angle corner. We call a pylon corner here. And then we're going to push up here and run the comeback. So we're going to start with the high angle corner and then we're going to work to the comeback. Two on one right here. Shades of Seattle Russell right here. Look at this. Really perfect throw. Comes back, gets exactly what he wants. Lays it up there right on the money. His guy goes and gets it for a touchdown. Okay, so this is one of the interceptions, and man, this is really not on Russell at all, in my opinion. This is just a great play by Stingley, but we're going to run what we call a wrap pump. Okay, so we're trying to get quarters coverage right here, which is what we get, trying to get this safety to drive on the end, thinks he's going to steal it 
with the, uh, and get an interception. And now we turn up the field and we get exactly what we want on this particular play. Wraps it in. Look at the safety. Safety's driving. Boom. Good move. Now we got exactly what we want. I mean, this is what Russell sees. This is a big play waiting to happen. And Stingley does a great job of playing this and going up over the top to make this play. The only thing that I would say, if there's anything, a teaching point on this, is when you beat this safety, you know the only guy left to get it is coming from the outside. So we don't want to take our guy across the field, but we can throw this ball and bend our guy inside a little bit, almost like a post, throwing it to the near hash to let our guy run under, under it, but to keep it away from the defender. But still, that's ticky-tacky right there. That's going to be a really good throw, and that's just a better play by the defense and Stingley to go steal that one from being a possible touchdown or, or a huge play. Again, stuff that I really like. I'm going to run this play here. I call it slugger. So we got a slice on the outside with two go routes. We get a too high look here. So our first read is going to be down the middle. So again, you see when Russell Wilson is confident in what he's seeing, that he can still make these big time throws. Knows exactly what he's looking at. Back, little slide up. Look at his throw. Perfect dime throw down the field over the linebacker or the nickel, beats the safety with the throw. That's the kind of stuff we need more of. And Russell can do that when he's confident in what he's seeing. So it comes more in the play action or when he gets the perfect look. Okay, I put this one on here because this is another teaching tape that I talked about the other day. So this is just stick. Okay, so it's a stick by number three. We got a flat by number two and we got a clear out by number one. So what did I tell you guys on the teaching tape? If you paid attention, Obviously, the corner out of here and he's in an off position. We're reading this defender first. We always want to think flat first. We get it to him timely with a good ball. The bigger plays are the ones where we can get it to him and they can turn up the sideline with the guy chasing him from the inside. So here we go. Look at the defender. Look at that defender right now. He's squared off right now. Hit this out. That's the throw. You see Russell again. Not seeing it. A little bit impatient or... He's going right to the inside because that's the other problem. Again, Russell's been good when he picks his guy. He knows where he wants to go, and that first guy's open. But have to expand our vision to see the whole picture. He's looking at the stick, and he sees the squeeze on the stick, so he takes off and runs. Well, if we just read this correctly from the get-go, read the outside linebacker, make him move to cover the flat or throw the flat, now the stick's going to be open, and we don't have to create here. Although Russell does a nice job here. It's a fourth down play, right? The fourth down play. There's the easy first down to the top, but does a nice job of tucking it, making a play. And as I said, that's become a big part of their offense is the check downs and the runs by Russell, okay? So they're going to run a four strong here, okay? So we're going to motion our back to this side, and they're going to end up running a hook and a swing to that side. So I get four strong and I motion out there. I just want to see what the defense does. I have to see movement by the defense if they're going to take it away. Okay, so a lot of times we're putting some one-on-one -on, -one on the backside in case the defense does shift everybody over and we take the one-on-one. -on -one. But as we run this, you'll notice, and the first thing that I'm looking at is this guy right here. Okay, this guy. Because we're motioning this guy out to get leverage on everybody. So that's the first thing I'm looking at as a quarterback. Well, if they're going to take this away, this defender right here has to get wide with him. So that's what I'm looking at as I'm sending my guy in motion and as I get the snap right now. I'm looking at him. What's he doing? Flat-footed right there. He's not getting any width. Kick it to your back right here and let him go. Kick it to your back and let him go. Okay? Oh, you're touch late to it. Okay, no problem. You're touch late to it. I'm still watching him, so I'm a touch late and he started to widen out here, there's the throw right back inside right there. So one of those two guys here, because there's no rotation by the rest of the defense, should be the throw right now. Look at all the bodies in here. All the bodies because they haven't pushed this over. That throw back to the inside, no problem with that throw if this guy bounces, this guy bounces, this guy bounces, and now they start to move 
I'm going to peek this backside safety. If this backside safety pushes with them, I'm going to work my one-on-one -on -one back here to my X. If that backside safety stays or helps on the X, that's when we would come back to the inside. But we've got to see that movement, especially by the outside backer. Should be kicking it right to a swing right now and walking in for a possible touchdown.